Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GTA Online video. So, in case you guys didn't know, the Motor Wars Adversary Mode this weekend will give you triple money and triple RP. This is the first time that Rockstar has done something like this, and you can make a ton of money if you win. So what I'm going to do is give you guys some tips and strategies in order to increase your chances of winning in this mode to make the most money possible while having some fun doing some PvP. If you guys want specific numbers, just from winning two matches, I made around $158,000, which is crazy. And I could have made even more if the rounds went longer or if we had more players in the lobby. Also, I should state that these tips are made with free aim in mind, but I don't think anything would really change going into auto aim, so I think they would still work. So before you go into Motor Wars, I highly suggest playing with at least one friend. And the reason for this is because most of the vehicles in Motor Wars require two people to operate effectively, the driver and the gunner. So having a friend will allow you to communicate with one another and plan out your moves. Now let's talk about landing. You're going to want to either land next to a weapon or a fast vehicle. The Doom Buggy and Weaponized Tampa in late game are not that good because they aren't armored at all, so they get shredded by the other vehicles. However, for getting around early game collecting weapons, they are very good. The weapons you want to go for are an assault rifle or combat MG and an explosive weapon. You want to make sure you're not just left with a measly pistol. I recommend the grenade launcher because of the high rate of fire. If you come across a night shark or a half track in late game with an RPG or railgun, you'll get one shot off, but chances are you'll be dead by the time you can shoot another one off. With the grenade launcher, you can just keep firing. So now that you've got the weapons you want, you now need to get into the vehicle that you will use for late game survival. And the one you want to look for is the half track. The half tracks front and back are completely bulletproof, so the driver will be protected very well. If you are the one driving, you need to be aware of enemies that manage to get on your sides because they can cheat you through the side windows. And if that does happen, you want to immediately turn away from them so your back is exposed to them. And ideally, you'll want to be ahead of whoever you're shooting at. Against another half track, it doesn't really matter as much since it's bulletproof in the front anyways, but on the other vehicles, it's much easier to shoot the driver out if you're in the front and they are in the back. The other vehicle that is good for late game is the Night Shark with the trailer attached. The Night Shark excels in the speed category, so if you're up against the half track, you can make them play your game if they want to take you out. However, the Night Shark isn't bulletproof from the front, unlike the half track, so you'll have to be careful you don't get shot out of it. Now let's talk about what to do when you're outnumbered one vehicle against maybe two or three. The main thing you want to do is make sure that you only take fire from one direction. That way, you'll be facing one way and be able to shoot at either of the enemies while they only have one line of sight on you. This is important because on the half-track gun, if you are looking at your enemy, it protects 99% of your body, so it's unlikely that you'll be shot out. But if your enemies are on different sides, you may aim at one while the other is on the side where your back is exposed, which obviously isn't good. You may also have to take a few risks depending on the skill level of your opponents. This is where the grenade launcher or other explosive weapon that you picked up comes into play. You lead the enemy into an alleyway or any area that isn't in the open for them to shoot at you. Then get out and fire your explosives at them. If you are solo with no gunner, this is probably what you want to do because with no gunner, there's not really much you can do. If you can at least get one of the enemies with this tactic, then that's a good thing. Alright, so now, what if the round goes on so long that it ends up in sudden death where if you go out of the circle, the game is over? What you want to do is make sure you're at the center of the circle because that means the enemies will have to come to you, which will give you the upper hand. Then you can either take out the enemies or if they aren't rushing you, just wait it out. Anyways guys, that is going to be all for this video's commentary. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for guide and PvP related content. Trust me, using these tips you should get a lot more wins so you can make a lot more money. And you still have today and tomorrow to take advantage because the tunables don't usually update until early morning on Tuesday. I'm going to leave you guys with some raw gameplay of my friend JSM Racecar and I getting caught in an intense 2v1 situation where we got to utilize the tactics that I talked about in this video. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so sit back, enjoy the gameplay, and as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.